Hey guys, Darcy here. Today we're going to talk about how I've been using the API console in my mixes so far. Let's jump into it. All right, so we're in Luna here and let's talk about mixing with the API console. Okay, Let, let's just first show you here. I got a little um, beat that I'm putting together uh, that I wanted to show and show how I'm using it. Okay, so let's first just play this, get a feel for things, right? So let's just grab this whole thing. All right, so we got a good vibe going here, okay? So let's bring this up. Let's bring up the, the, the mixer so we can see all of our inserts and, and let's, the console specifically, okay? So we can see we got a console later here pretty much almost on every track. I didn't put on the hats yet because I, I just didn't think to put it there. But what we see here is that we, we got different things set up across different places. So if we just toggle everything, let's see what how our inputs are looking. Let's see how our dynamics are looking. We're using gate on, on, on the 808 here. We'll talk about that. And we, we're using... Uh, a little bit of EQ on a couple of the tracks. Um, but yeah, so let's first off talk about the 808, okay? Let me just take off this gate and I'm gonna go focus on a specific part, okay? So the first part here in this uh, setup, the 808 is basically playing in, you can see there's an automation curve. It's playing is basically like a one shot. Like when you hit it, it just plays through the sound. I'm using a sub lab for this one. Um, so essentially the sampler will play straight through in this part. So let's just solo this and listen to it. Right, but then over here, you can see that the loop pops up and we have that automated to come in. So we basically are turning it on, right? And I felt like that the loop was just hanging too long and I couldn't see within the application a way to really shorten that other than you know changing the notes, but it still hangs a little bit afterwards. And whether or not there's an option in this this plugin, what came to mind first for me, because I had my console open, was to actually just use a gate. So I basically put this gate on, I'm going to play it, I'm going to turn it on so you can hear essentially what it's doing. So I played it there, brought it back into the track, turned the gate off, turned it back on so you could hear it. It's just a subtle kind of like automated uh, fade out. I'm using the expansion. It sounds real good. sounds real nice. And uh, it just was giving me that little touch that I wanted. And because I have all these tools available to me, you know, right at the get go, then I, it just it came more natural to me and faster from a creative perspective to just do this than to figure out where it was in the application in, in that particular VST. As well with this, I'm also driving the uh, gain at about like, like six, seven out of 12. And I really like the way when you drive this stuff hard, how it kind of comes in. So let's like so let's 808 again. Now I also have a lot of inserts here adding up a pretty big sound, right? We got Little Lab's Voice of God to give more low end to this, this sample. Um, then we're also using the 610B to drive this and give it some distortion. And then we're using the DBX 160 to just, you know, kind of control things, the dynamics. But let's hear what happens when we um, actually let's take all of these off so doop, doop, doop. and then we're going to listen to what this sounds like without the gain i'm going to go back to the this part of the loop we're going to listen to this with the gain lower and then we're going to press it back in and just see what it's what it's adding and i'm going to go over all the way to 12 so you can really hear the kind of like distortion it gives and how it's still transparent all right so let's take a listen Thank you. 
So if you listen to on the lower note, you can hear even with the voice of God, there's a different character. Obviously, it's getting louder, so that's sweeter th to the ear. But there's a character. It's, it's very subtle. API stuff seems to be very transparent and very subtle. Uh, and so that's something that I really like uh, about the way this sounds. Uh, so much so that I feel like I might even leave it at a higher number right now. Uh, but I am listening in solo, so, you know, that's, things sound sweet in solo. But let's, let's bring all this stuff back and maybe, like, let's gain, adjust that gain just a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to leave it around there. Okay, so now that's that's one example of stuff that I'm using here. I'm also using a lot of the EQ in, in, in kind of very obvious ways. I really like and appreciate just the more it makes you kind of um, not, you know, try to EQ graphically all the time. You know, you're just kind of listening. Okay, maybe something around here. Maybe I dial it up really, really high and then adjust. So like, let's take this for example. Let's listen to this sound here. And I'm going to take one of these bands and I'm going to gain it really high, adjust different places and get a sense for what that sounds like. So let's listen. So something there I was going to look, I wanted to see how much I'd already used my filter on the high pass. And it's something nice you can do. You can boost low, use the high pass. The way they blend against each other is really good. And one of the things about these analog kind of e equalizers for people who are more used to using something visual like this is that the bands in which that they will overlap each other may not be the bands you would think to use or they might have curves in them that are not like what you maybe have access to uh, with you know your, your your visual equalizer so using the high pass here cutting out the lows up to 600 while at the same time going over the eq and boosting 4 uh, db at 300 has an interesting vibe to it right and so these are kind of some of the the decisions you can make now of course let's take this out of solo and let's see what it sounds like all right so we got we got a vibe here now i have another track i'm gonna bring this one in and i want to just kind of go through this one from scratch i have capital chambers already set on it just to give it a little bit of sweetness but i've done nothing in terms of the actual mixing so i'm going to bring up the whole visual of the console on the left and let's run through this and just, i'm gonna do this stuff live in terms of what i feel um and then you just get a sense of you know a little demo of how you can utilize this you know on the go and how quickly creative it can be so let's do this it's gonna loop it properly One thing I'm noting, I'm going to say this real quick. The more I gain it across with the low pass, yeah, the higher the gain gets, I feel like it brings in more high in the saturation. And so the low pass I have to increase. Where when I bring it lower, then I back the low pass off. Just something that I'm like picking up as I'm doing it in the moment. Let's go back.
That sounds, that is a big difference, okay? Like, it sounds thicker, warmer. Obviously, some of that's in, in, in actually, you know what? I don't have any low EQ on this. I have literally done a high pass, a low pass, and gained and got a thickness to the sound that it just doesn't seem to have um, uh, in its default state. And I've only just added back some high end, did some compression, did some some um, gating just to like smooth things out in terms of uh, I heard some some like mouth sounds uh, in, in the recording, and yeah, like it's just that much better that quickly and i think really with the demonstration of this was to showcase is just the action of how quickly you can be thinking and making decisions i'm not opening up plugins i'm not thinking about what's the next thing to do i'm just kind of utilizing this getting a good sound that i like and now i can go and be like all right let me add some more reverb or let me go add this delay or let me go add this other effect right but just getting started with the sound and then still being able to utilize this as you're going just very quickly that's what I'm loving about this and the fantastic sound. Anyways, hopefully you found this demonstration helpful. If you did, let me know, comment, you know, just uh, anything you want to see, feel free to let me know and I'll be glad to jump on that. Otherwise, have yourself a good day. Peace, y'all.